changed actually location. We left Punta Arenas and took the bus here, which took about three hours and a little bit. And this is just a short stop we are taking here. We slept one night here. And today we are going to board a ship, which is over there at the horizon. You probably cannot see it so small. And uh, we are going to do a cruise through the Magellan Strait for a couple of days. And we are both super excited to see this because the landscape is already here so beautiful. Actually, Puerto Natales is, is just a base camp for all the people who are hiking through the Torres del Paine National Park. It's packed with outdoor stores and hostels and backpackers and some small bars. When you go in, you cannot even breathe because everybody <laughs> some kind of leftovers from the hike in the air so let's take this cruise now board the boat and adore the beautiful landscape Puerto Natal is behind me over there and this is our ship Scorpios 3 on board which we will be the three next days uh, cruising around the glaciers and the mountains it is very windy today the wind seems to be increasing so it's probably going to be a little bit shaky but we start today at 5 with tea afternoon tea uh, before actually at 5 we we leave this pier and then overnight we will travel to the first spot and tomorrow morning we will see the first wonders so follow me on board So this will be our home for the next three days. We have a nice view and a comfy cabin. <laughs> We'll be sailing through shelter waters, let's say fjords and channels. So during the whole cruise, we'll be seeing uh, continent and island. So we'll be sailing through protection. We don't go to high seas during the cruise. So I'm currently taking over the boat. Uh, because the captain is busy, he got a phone call. <laughs> He's calling home. <laughs> and actually, here you can see where we are going. Uh, Just going here through the, to the fjord. And there are some uh, mountains in between. And the first uh, officer is currently calculating the route we are taking over there. We discovered something spectacular. We, we can see that we have more than 1,400 meters deep of snow and ice. Let's say 0 0.869 miles. This is a very important reserve of drinking water for many generations in the world. Something that has become... After some years, it becomes fern. 
which is more compact and then we have the glacier ice that is the cycle of the ice formation and like I said first we need this uh, snowflake that we can call the raw material, material to form the glacier that we still can see uh, today. There's some ice or snow on the top of these mountains and I don't know if you can see it now, it's kind of, ah, yes, you can focus. And there's going to be a very narrow part, which is coming there. And that's supposed to be spectacular. We are going to be on deck for that part in a few minutes. But now we are very close to the Kirkje Fort, or the Kirkje narrow part of the cruise. And it's raining, I have to clean the lens raining like hell and a very unpleasant weather but it looks very stunning day one on the cruise on the Scorpius 3 and actually this is my first cruise I'm doing in my entire life can you believe it it's a little bit shaky but let's see if I can sleep the day was uh, very interesting so far uh, checking in beautiful landscape unfortunately we are a little bit unfortunate with the weather but the captain said it might gonna change tomorrow so we just had uh, dinner downstairs in the dining room. Very funny because you're sitting together with uh, six, I know, we are eight people, I think, at the table. We another couple, there's another couple from Switzerland and four really nice people from Costa Rica. And this is a very small cruise. There's only a capacity of 90 people and we are actually 77 people on this cruise only. Can you feel it? It's a little bit shaking. And currently there are 16 nationalities on this cruise, so it's very interesting, they're very uh, good mixture of people here on this ship. So now we're going to hit the mattress, because tomorrow is going to be a very early wake up. To, and when we arrive, the boat is supposed to be in front of the glacier. So very nice imagination to think when falling asleep. Thank you very much again for watching this uh, episode of The Way We Saw It and keep on following us. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so to see the continuation of course of the other two days of this beautiful cruise. Good night and have a good time wherever you are.